Well, uh, black metal pretty much started with Venom back in the, what is it, 81 or 82, with the album Welcome to Hell. They were the first act that actually called their music black metal in it. And um, that's why I have this point of view about black metal. It's, I mean, Venom doesn't sound anything like uh, modern black metal bands, but it's, you know, it's still black metal. It's the same lyrical concept, the satanic uh, lyrics and stuff. And uh, yeah, v Venom sounded more like punk than uh, than uh, black metal nowadays. So black metal can be any kind of metal. Black metal can can just be um, this little part of mad madness into a general feeling of normality. suggest it didn't come from Gene Simmons and Case and Alice Cooper and that kind of thing. I can't deny that uh, I was, you know, my Kiss was my first band. Mm -hmm. I'm still a Kiss fan, you know, and I love that old shit, you know? Oh, of course. You know, like, 1980, I was seven years old, I uh, got, um, you know, I fell over Destroyer. Mm -hmm. And then uh, the demon awoke in me. <laughs> it's part of the psychodrama we present our music. Uh, or are these? The reason we use makeup is to celebrate our inner demons. Mm -hmm. It's a celebration. It's not a theater thing. I wear corpse paint because I feel that Agathon is kind of person inside me and I don't want him to be labeled as me. He is different person than I am. So he looks different. And when you see these people on stage that just look like they're from the depths of hell, it just pushes the whole feel the whole essence of the of the show to the next level. I don't see a lot of the uh, more established bands that actually doing it. Mm -hmm. I think the only band I see do this is like bands like Borgroff and uh, but they're so hardcore you know it's like what they do. Well I used it in my former band Phobia but that's long ago. There's only one Abbott. What's that? <laughs> yeah. Well, well Abbott you... you... I've, seen, I've seen a lot of uh, bands you know uh, you know trying to you know copy my makeup and I don't care, because yeah. there's only one Abbott. You know, it's like, you know, you paint your inner face. That's what it's all about, I mean, like, you know, because when I joined Dark Freeman, I never had a course been on in my whole life. And I just, I asked Ironman, who's been wearing it for years before me, and said, like, you know, what the fuck is you say? Just, just let, like, you know, Satan take all your fucking hand and draw your fucking face. This was my first shot, uh -huh. you know. I never tried different things, you know. The, the first, first time I put on, first time I you know, put on makeup, this was it. Yeah. This is me. Just perform something that it was done by the bands before, and they don't even understand the reason of all that. So I think it's better today not to use this kind of, of artifacts because you are just doing it. The Maybe it is a little passive. For Gorgoth, this is uh, the only natural way to present our music. Well, it's I don't care if it's. Or say or whatever. It was us and uh, King Diamond and the uh, early Slayer folks. I think we, these were like among the earliest bands he used. That. And of course, in the 70s, I, I loved Arthur, or the 60s and 70s, I loved Arthur Brown and Alice Cooper also used makeup like that. But I think in, in, the, in the newer wave of men in the 80s, I think it was these three bands who probably caused some stir. I don't, I don't, I don't credit us solely for that, but there's photos of us in the well, I mean, our first singer, I mean, when I, when I joined the band as a fucking rhythm guitarist years ago, uh, we had a singer who wore the corpse paint, you know, very much like Alice Cooper. You know, if it's done in the right way, I mean, it, it's pretty good. I mean, I like some of that stuff anyway. I like some of the sort of bosoms and mayhems and things like that. You know, it's, it's great metal. I mean, I prefer to listen to metal than any other kind of music, you know. I mean, if you were to say to me, you know, he has the worst corpse paint metal band in the world or he has fucking Britney Spears, I listen to the fucking worst corpse paint metal band in the world, you know. I fucking love metal, you know, so... 
you know, for me, it doesn't really matter. I mean, it's, you know, you see it in the faces of the, some of those guys, you know, I mean, the, it's the intensity, the fans of the music, and they want to create some of their own. And I, I fucking think that's 100%, man. That's fucking, you know, great, great for them to try, you know. Everybody should fucking have a go, you know.